years ago, Kuala Lumpur was thought of as no more than a backwater, a remote jungle outpost straddling a muddy estuary. Well, just look how far it's come. KL, as it's known over here, has sprung up to some rather dizzy heights. with ambition, desperate to outshine, outsmart and literally tower over the competition. It has plenty of attractions to persuade the holidaymaker to stay. And the visitor who perhaps receives the warmest welcome here is the dedicated shopper. There are 52 main shopping areas to choose from. KL thinks of itself as one of the most forward-thinking, corporate-minded cities. And on the smooth, chrome and shiny face of it, that's how it seems. The last few years may have created a homogenized metropolitan culture on the surface, but down on the streets there's still the atmosphere of the Orient, although which part isn't exactly clear. There are many influences here, which probably goes to explain why the food is so varied and good. A trip to Langkawi is worthwhile. It's not one single island, but a cluster, 99 in high tide and up to 104 when the tide is out. Small motorised sampans ply between the islands and are easily hired for long or short trips through these unforgettable islands. It's almost a relief that there's very little in the way of sightseeing opportunities on the rest of the island to drag you away from this gentle oasis of calm. But one activity that's really worth the mild exertion is a jungle walk run by various tours. These guides can point out things you'd never have imagined. Here you can experience the creatures of the rainforest in their natural setting. a trip to Penang Island off Malaysia's west coast. First stop is the island's biggest street market in Georgetown, the capital of Penang, a great place to see the locals go about their business. an hour will secure you the services of a rickshaw driver, taxis are a little more expensive, but walk and you'll see things you'd otherwise miss out on. It's a three hour drive east to Banding Island, which for most travellers is just a stopping off point midway between coasts. But venture out onto Lake Tenengor and suddenly you find yourself in the world's oldest rainforest, still standing after 130 million years. The lake is a rather more recent addition to the landscape. But that doesn't mean it's not wildly atmospheric. You can pitch tents here and experience the natural world at its best. There are no showers, no toilets, but these things are worth passing up on for the chance to wake up with the rainforest right outside your tent. Three hours drive from the lake to the east coast and half an hour by boat takes you to the idyllic island of Pahentian Bazaar. Pahentian Bazaar isn't short of great swimming and beaches and thanks to its excellent coral, there are plenty of dive centres around the island. And there's always plain old snorkelling. However you choose to explore Malaysia and her islands, you'll be more than satisfied. <laughs> 